For simulation and monitoring of Goose messages with Goose Air, we are going to need two interfaces active on a Goose Air machine. One of them will be used for generating Goose messages, while the other one will be used for monitoring. To check the status and settings of Goose Air machine, we can go to Goose Air server web interface. This is the current IP address of the Goose Air machine. And after a successful login, the main window will appear. To check the network settings, we go Network, Status. And we see that there are two interfaces currently active. These are all IP addresses which are available for use. Also, we must check the status of GAS service which is used for GOO simulations. By green color we see that the GAS service is already started. Now we can go back to software and start a new project. There are two types of Goose Air simulation which are offered by Goose Air. One is simulation using the imported STL file and the other one is fully customized which means we do not even need an STL file to simulate Goose messages. For now I'm going to show simulation using an STL file. So I go import. I will use the GICD file. And now I will use Goose Definitions option. A Goose Definitions option provides an overview of Goose parameters like dataset object reference, name of the Goose control block, the VLAN settings, MAC address of the device sending Goose. Now I'm going to add two Goose simulation services. One of them will be used for generating Goose messages and the other one will be used for monitoring. So I go add service, choose Goose service and type the IP address. Now I will briefly go back to Goose Air server web interface just to show which interface I am actually using now. Network, status. This is the IP address I assigned to Goose service a moment ago. And considering that we need two active interfaces, the other service which I'm going to add will be located within this interface and using this IP address. So we go again add service, choose Goose service and type the appropriate IP address. Now that we added two Goose services, we can open the simulation window, right click, choose simulated Goose, and in the drop down menu, Goose Air now offers all of the Goose control blocks which are imported in the Goose Air environment. Here we can choose ascending policy of Goose messages. These numbers represent the time between two consecutive Goose messages in milliseconds after the event has occurred. The last number, the 5000 in this case, always represents the heartbeat interval. This is the graphic view of the Goose sending policy. We see that the time between two consecutive Goose messages after the event has occurred are very short and this is to enhance probability that Goose message will reach its destination in a short period of time. After this, a time between will grow longer and eventually we will reach the heartbeat interval. You can also choose a custom retransmission settings, but for now we will use the default sending policy. Here we choose which of the two interfaces we are going to use for sending Goose messages. For example, a service located at this IP address will be used for sending, which means the other one must be used for monitoring.
to set up monitoring settings we go monitor goose monitor and in the drop down menu we choose IP address of the service we are going to use for monitoring goose messages we also need to set up appropriate interface for monitoring we can turn off this one and choose interface which corresponds to this IP address and start monitoring now in the simulation window we can start the simulation by activating the green run button the simulation is now activated and we can monitor it in goose monitor window we see that simulation starts like the event has occurred and then it continues retransmissioning in stable conditions in this window we can also see some of the content of the goose message like time allowed to leave value which is twice as long as the heartbeat interval as recommended by IC 61850 standard then we have a sequence number value which increments each time a goose message is sent state number value which increments each time a goose message is sent provided that the change has been detected within the data set used you can also see the content of entire goose message by using the packet inspector option now I'm going to change some data attribute within the data set used in goose messaging and see what happens we can approach the data set using the simulation window and now the data set window will appear now I'm going to change a value of some data attribute for example this one and we see that retransmissioning of goose messages has changed because of the event that has occurred also we can see that state number value is changed thank you for your attention